We begin Monday's press review in Kenya with the standard. Why Ruto is cornered. Tight rope. The deputy president is in a catch-22. To support his boss, he must abandon his hustler's flock. Yet he needs them to fire up his power ambitions. To oppose BBI bill, after publicly pressing some clauses, is like throwing the baby out with the bad water. To sit on the fence is a hallmark of cowardice for a man who loves a good fight. Daily Nation says, where are these school's children? Massive drop out. Thousands of learners failed to show up in class when institutions partially reopened last month, raising fears of massive drop out. Officials are unable to account for their whereabouts, and things can only get worse on January 4th, when all schools fully reopen. In Zimbabwe, Daily News write, I'm ready to work with ED, Chamisa. Bonsora says her she bids to leave MDC. Sim bleeds. Ghanaian Times says NPP, NDC, Duopoly, we are poised to end it. PPP, CPP, PNC, others declare. Daily Guide writes, don't play shakale with people's lives. Baumia. In Nigeria, The Guardian says investors split on duty cut for imported vehicles. And great collapse triggers nationwide blackout. The nation writes outrage over killings. 42 slain farmers buried in Boronu. Prof killed in Benue. 10 killed in Plateau. Attack most violent, says UN. The point says anger spread as UN says 110 Borodou farmers killed. Several still missing as governor leads burial of 42 Borodou farmers. Rise up and protect yourself against attack, CNG tells Nottingham. This day right. Federal government to treat fresh NSAS protests as attempt at regime change. Cease proposed demonstration as the core for political action to force Mali situation on Nigeria. Security agencies place on red alert. And finally, we end in Uganda with Daily Monitor. Is this story? Families fail to find riot suspect. Where are they? Security agencies arrested more than 800 people following protests in towns across the country on November 18 and 19. But in many families are yet to find their loved ones who were reported detained at various installations close to two weeks later. That's it. Stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.